Hi, welcome to the Brick Freaks. This is Phil, and this is the re review of the Zingbao Dreamcar XB08004, the ice cream truck. Very nice, mostly white and red bricks. 1000 pieces. Thing Bauer says. So let's go around. This opens. This opens. Uh, this opens as well. And closes in this case. And stay here. And the roof comes off. I'll show you later. A very nice ice cream cone up here. It's all built. It's not one piece. So this is a sticker, sticker, sticker. Sticker. No sticker. This is a print. I love it. Sticker, sticker. Sticker, sticker. Oh, this opens. And you can maybe look inside, but maybe not. So the set comes with two minifigures, which are, uh, well, completely useless, basically. They are ugly. They're not the worst Zingbao minifigures I've ever seen, but they're still pretty ugly. And they're absolutely not in scale to the model. So check it out. I don't know, maybe they've hit, been hit by a shrink ray or something. They can't even reach up to buy any ice cream. Oh, too bad. They basically look they're as big as the tire. Way too small, so useless. But, well, no problem. Nobody cares about the minifix anyway with this model. So let me just give you a look inside. So this is the inside. As you can see, it's nicely detailed. Tiles on the floor. Mostly white. If you don't like white, this is not your model, but still. So you have a freezer with some ice cream in it. And another freezer with some ice cream in it. and cupcakes I'm not sure so on the other side you have a nice kitchen mini kitchen with a faucet and a register and some money and some ice cream cones and a very pink plate so let me just show you inside you see the gear shift, gear stick, sorry my English is failing me, uh, it has a little cupcake on it as well, nice detail. And well, you can see how this is all built. put this back on the tripod because this is really uncomfortable <laughs> sorry this table is way too low for me because I'm a pretty big guy uh, well so it's a nice model all in all it's very well built uh, very well constructed <laughs> depends on you how well built it is but the only really big problem I had with it was the, the brick quality. Because, uh, well, I don't know why it is. I've built other Singbauer sets and the bricks were always 
were fine. No problem with them. Sometimes the color was a bit off, but well, no, not even that. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I don't really like their red tone, but I think it's basically the same red tone as Lego has. So <laughs> maybe I just don't like red plastic bricks. Um, but these bricks don't hold together really well. I'm not sure why it is. As I said, I have other Singbao sets and they are fine. They hold together well, no problem at all. But this, with this set, I had really problems not building it. Building it was not a problem, but moving it around, I kept ripping bits off. And when trying to put them back on, I was ripping other bits off. And basically, I had to rebuild this whole front section like four or five times while I was uh, preparing this review. So, well, it's really fragile. So it's, it's, I can't recommend it for, uh, for kids to play. It, well, it, it's not intended for kids to play with anyway, because it's obviously a model. So you can put it on a shelf and you should leave it on the shelf because oh let's see because it's basically going to fall apart otherwise the design of this car is well either you like it or you don't i think it's quite nifty it's kind of a beach uh, what's the name in German it's called a bully. Uh, VW surfer van, but uh, well a tuned, tuned version with lowered suspension. I don't know why this, which is also an ice cream truck, it makes no sense at all, but I think it, it's, it's a cool idea. I like it. So what else is there to say? Uh, the instruction manual. The instruction manual is great. If you've built Singbao sets before, you know they know their stuff. It's actually, I like it better than Lego sometimes. It's clear, you can see what's going on. You can see which parts to use. Everything is very, very easy to follow and to build. Uh, backs were numbered as well. So no problem there. It's a nice set. It's a nice set that uh, that I can recommend if, if I wouldn't spend too much money on it. So I paid 25 euros, which is a great price. I've uh, been looked it up on the internet. It's between 35 and 45 euros. That's also okay. I would try to get it cheaper for the reason that the bricks are not that great, but maybe I was just unlucky with this and, and the version you will get will be fine. I don't know, but that's the only thing that's really stops me from wholeheartedly recommending this, if you like it. <laughs> Uh, oh, it also comes with uh, two different stickers. Well, it's one sticker set, but they give you two different uh, suggestions how you, you put them on, because there's also a big ice cream cone, which I didn't put on. Also very uh, easy to attach stickers. I really hate attaching stickers, but this these are pretty big and not too many. And even I, with my large mitts, was able to uh, put them in place, so they, well, they look okay, I think. <laughs> so, is anything else to say? No, I don't think so. That's it for me. If you like this review, you can subscribe. You can click the bell icon, where well, you know the drill, if you've been around YouTube for a while. 
we would be very happy. I wish you a nice day and bye.